So today we're going to talk about the most common cause of a liver transplant. And this thing I'm going to talk about is the number one cause of a liver transplant in the U.S. and the second most common cause of a liver transplant in the world. And that would be acetaminophen, commonly known as Tylenol. Now, if you're in Europe, it may be called paracetamol. Now, here's the problem. The active ingredient in Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, is in quite a few over-the-counter medications. It's in Alka-Seltzer Plus, Benadryl, Excedrin, it's in Pacoset, Ribotussin, Sudafed, Theraflu, Vix, NyQuil, DayQuil, and in Vicodin. And many of these medications come in one gram tablets. But here's the problem. Only four grams a day is an overdose. You should never take more than three grams in a 24 hour period because the toxicity from this chemical literally destroys the liver cells and this destruction is irreversible. Now to make things worse, if you have a fatty liver, if you have cirrhosis, if you have hepatitis, if you're an alcoholic, if you're a heavy smoker, and if you are on antidepressant medication or antibiotics, or you drink a lot of aspartame because you drink a lot of diet sodas, all of this weakens the liver to the point where three grams in a 24 hour period is highly toxic, if not deadly. So here's what happens. The liver makes two enzymes that are supposed to dismantle this chemical and turn it into a harmless um, byproduct. But what happens when you overload these two enzymes too much with this chemical, it gets saturated. And then a third enzyme comes in to try to cope with this and then you start depleting your glutathione, which is a very important protective antioxidant for the liver. Then you start getting necrosis of the hepatocyte or the liver cells. Now the term necrosis is the death of body tissue. So your liver cells, hepatocytes, basically die. Now I wanna give you a little reality on how easy it is to overdose on this chemical. Let's say you're taking NyQuil and Alka-Seltzer Plus, and you're taking two of each twice a day which doesn't seem to be that outrageous, right? Well, right there, that equates to 4,450 milligrams of acetaminophen, which is a toxic dose. So basically by taking just these two medications, okay, two doses twice a day, you literally can cause liver failure. All right, so what can you do if you accidentally take this amount? Number one, activated charcoal. Take it within one hour, okay? That will help to minimize the toxicity. Number two, NAC. This is a natural remedy, a very powerful um, antioxidant for the liver. And then we have milk thistle, which is a very powerful, effective um, herb that can help protect the liver cells as well. And the third option is to get a liver transplant. The problem is there's a long waiting list for a new liver, and who knows if you're gonna get one. So the key is basically having the knowledge of this data so you can avoid accidentally overdosing on Tylenol. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It 
goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto intermittent fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special, if you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.